YouTube Official Gaming Network and welcome to episode 24 of our Mario Game and Java tutorial. Last episode we did part 1 of 2 of implementing pipes into our game. This episode we'll do part 2 of 2 of implementing pipes into our game. Well I'm not sick anymore, I'm finally back from holidays and I'm ready to record tutorials for you guys because that's what I love doing. Um, I love that you guys show great support and then my channels are growing uh, quite quickly speaking of quick uh, when I was on holidays I actually gained 11 subscribers in six days for me at the moment that is freaking crazy so yeah thanks you guys my channels really is growing quite fast so yeah I'm gonna get right into this episode and when we left off uh, we went down our uh, pipe and then you know our player didn't come back it's kinda like kept going down the pipe forever even if it was wasn't in the pipe alright so to fix that uh, we're gonna go into our player class okay alright and scroll down to our if going down pipe if statement now in our if statement where we're checking if pixels traveled is greater than our tiles height plus our height then uh, we just we want to remove plus height and that will fix it. I have no idea why this happens. I was just playing around with code then I just found this. I don't know. I don't know what causes it. I don't know why it happens. It it just happens <laughs> really. Okay. So I really have no explanation. What? Oh yeah we have to open our game class because if you haven't opened your game class yet and you try to run your game as you would know, uh, our app looks for our main method and because game hasn't been open, it can't find the main method. So just make sure to open game every time. Okay, so let's run it. And uh, sorry if you can hear a bit of a background noise, by the way. I don't know if you can, but yeah, I can definitely hear it. Sorry if you can. All right, so let's go down and we should come out. Yeah, there we go. As you can see we've come out of our pipe and we're in our little room here, but if we try to go back up, we can't because we simply haven't programmed it yet. Okay. Uh, so what we need to do is we have to go into our key input class in our input package. And in our case key vendor VKS, we're going to copy all the code except for break. So pretty much just copy the whole for loop. And we're going to paste it into our key event or VK W paste above our if statement where we're checking if jumping is equal to false. And uh, in our for loop, we want to change en dot get bound to bottom to en dot get bound top because when we're going back up a pipe, our head is colliding with the pipe, so that will be get bound to top in this case. All right. So now let's run our game. And the thing is, it actually won't work. Uh, I'll sh actually show you what happens uh, be because of this. So let's just go down the pipe. And uh, I'll try go in. As you can see, our player sort of freezes in midair. And uh, that's what we're going to be spending the rest of this episode doing, just pretty much fixing up this bug. So there's three reasons why this bug happens. One of them we'll fix right now. So if so we're gonna make we're gonna give this if statement where we're checking if pixels traveled is greater than our tiles height. We're gonna give it a body and under going down pipe is equal to false, we're gonna type pixels traveled is equal to zero. Why this bug occurs is because uh, when this if statement is called, then yeah it sets going down pipe equal to false, but it never actually sets pixels travel to zero and because going down pipe will equal to false when pixels traveled is greater than t dot height it'll always be greater than t dot height because we never actually set it to zero so yes yeah, set pixels travel to zero okay 
And now we're going to scroll back up and go to the top of our tick method. Oh, we don't really need this. Okay, so now in our uh, for loop, in our handler.tail.size for loop, in our if get bounds top dot intersects t dot get bounds if, if statement, and then uh, in our if statement where we're checking if jumping is equal to true, then I'm going to type and uh, going down pipe is equal to false or double and sign, which stands for an and operator, by the way an exclamation mark thing going down pipe so this is checking if jumping is equal to true and going down pipe is equal to false and uh, this bug I discovered by uh, accident as well yeah I don't know why this happens I was also just playing around with code and yeah now there's uh, one more part to this bug that we have to fix and uh, once we've fixed it then all should be good okay so let's go back down and we'll go into our if going down pipe if statement. And uh, oh, I actually removed it before, but there was an another. Let me just type it right now. I'm not going to type the contents of the uh, if statement, but I'm just putting it there. So there was an if going down pipe if statement. And if that was true, then the value of vel y will be added to pixels traveled. So yeah, just delete that if statement. And we're going to scroll down to our other if statement where we're checking if going down pipe is equal to true and in case zero we're going to type pixels pixels traveled uh, plus equals the negative value of val y so just type negative val y and uh, in case two pixels traveled would just be just normal val y and I don't think I've actually explained this before, so I'm sorry if I'm confusing you guys with the uh, facing thing, so the whole facing thing. So pretty much zero is facing up, one is facing left, two is facing down, three is facing right. So I, I've never, I don't think I've actually explained that before, and I do apologize for that if you were getting a bit confused about the whole thing. So while we add the negative value of Ly to pixels traveled when we're going up a pipe, is because let's say we didn't put negative val y there. Uh, when we go up, our the value of our val y is a negative value. So if we add val y to pixels traveled, our pixels traveled will be a negative value. And because positive values are greater than negative values, and our t dot height is a positive value, uh, it will pretty much make our player go up forever. This code will never be called because our pixels traveled will never be greater than t dot height. So to fix that, we just put negative val y there. And I just realized it was there was actually uh, four things we had to do to solve the bug instead of uh, three. So uh, in our going down pipe if statement, in our if get bounds bottom dot intersects t dot get bounds method, uh, then we want to change get bounds bottom to just simply get bounds. That's it. Because this whole code, this whole area of code, exists executes, sorry, only when get bounds bottom is intersecting, intersecting, wow, my speaking is horrible today, I do apologize, yeah, intersecting t dot get bounds. And because when we try to go up our pipe and uh, get bounds top will be intersecting t dot get bounds, not get bounds bottom. So we just have to change that to get bounds to allow get bounds top to be included as well. All right, so now it sh everything should work. So we'll run our game. All right, let's go over that. Oh God, jeez. <laughs> All right, let's go down our pipe. All right, we come back out. All right, we can go up our pipe. Come on, come on. There we go. You can see we go up our pipe and. Whoa, do you know what happened there? Oh, might have to fix that later because uh, that was unexpected and I don't know how to fix it yet. I'm sorry. So, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. If someone you know is interested in learning how to program in Java, please send them this tutorial. I would really appreciate it. So, see you guys soon. Bye.